it's cold outside It tingles in my heart Breathing air that clears my mind I'm all for a good start Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I'm doing a little bit of a different video today. Um, basically, I have suffered with an eye condition called blepharitis for around about the past two or three years. Um, blepharitis, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a condition of the eye that causes extreme itchiness, um, gooiness, crusting of the eyelashes, um, swelling. It's just a really horrible, nasty condition. It's it's really debilitating because when your eye condition is playing up, it is so chronic. It is all that you can think about. Sorry if you can hear the kids, they're just downstairs playing. <laughs> but yeah, when, when the eye condition plays up, it's so chronic. It's literally the only thing you can think about. Um, it got to the point where my eyes were getting so bad. I had been to the hospital on many occasions. I'd been given eye drops. So one of the creams I was given is this little one here. I'm sure if you've had an eye condition, you will probably know what it is. But it's basically chloramphenicol. 0.1% antibiotic eye ointment. And this is for acute bacterial conjunctivitis. But um, if you're probably clicked on this video, you are probably someone that is suffering with either blepharitis, dry eyes, um, a chronic condition of the eyes, as baby Danny. Um, yeah, it's it's really hard to explain because it's not one of these conditions that's like life threatening. It's not, you know, it's it's not gonna put you in a really bad state. But it is so chronic that when it plays up it's bad um the last time my eyes played up i was sat in work um they'd been playing up for around about a week um it had got to the point where my eyes were kind of out here <laughs> um the itch is the one thing that gets me the most when they itch it it got to the point where i was crying and I literally wanted to rip my eyeballs out of my head. Um, yeah, that's how bad it gets. If you've got blepharitis or dry eye or a condition like that, you will probably know. So yeah, I was sat in work one night and I was thinking, I've got to do something about this eyes, about these eyes. I cannot cope and I cannot keep on going the way that I'm going. So got onto YouTube, searching on my phone, looking for like all the recommendations that you can do. I've tried the eye ointment. I've tried the cold compresses, I've tried the hot compresses, I've tried, I've tried literally whatever I could find, whatever the doctor's given me, I've tried, I've done it. So, this gets me to how I cured my blepharitis. I came across a website, I think it was like talk, people talking about blepharitis and what's helped them and what they did, and somebody mentioned manuka honey now i was kind of like intrigued but i was like i ain't putting honey in my eyes anyway carried on reading and some people were like oh yeah it works some people were like no it doesn't and other people were like hmm, not doing it you know not putting honey in my eyes and i thought you know at this moment in time i was so desperate i would have tried anything so i finished my night shift drove to asda popped into asda had a look at all the different honeys um, manuka honey was about £15 for a little jar like this. Um, yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> like, I really wanted to cure my eyes. I really wanted my eyes to be better. But there was no way in hell I was going to pay £15 for a jar of honey. So, guys, I picked up this. It's a little jar of Asda Pure Honey. I think this cost me something like 99p, 129 something like that. And yeah, I thought, sod it. What's the worst that's going to happen? <laughs> I mean, I could go blind. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought, sod it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to go home. I'm going to give it a go because something's got to give. And yeah, basically, to cut a long story short, went home, tried it out, put the honey in my eyes, 
stank really really bad for a couple of minutes and then after that it was fine and honest to god i shit you not my eyes haven't played up ever since this was about four weeks ago this is why i haven't made this video yet because i wanted to make sure that it worked and i've got like no ill effects but basically i haven't had a flare-up of blepharitis ever since and my eyes were playing up on the daily you know i would have a really really bad flare up every other week or you know but like on a daily basis they were flaring up and i would get all that you know when your eye gets really itchy and then you open it and you've got all those white little bits that you pick out they're like stringy bits oh, oh my god it was so bad so yeah honestly guys i did that and my eyes have been amazing like they're white again instead of being really red and horrible um i haven't had no swelling i haven't had any itching and one of the best things of all for me is i'm able to wear eye makeup again i haven't worn eye makeup for so long and it seemed to be that whenever whenever i put eye makeup on and i would take it off is where i when i would get the flare-ups <laughs> And um, I have since worn, over the past four weeks, I've worn makeup. I don't wear makeup every day. I've worn makeup probably three or four times a week. And it's been great. It hasn't played up. And it's just been incredible. So honestly, <coughs> if you are looking for something and you've tried everything and you are losing the will to live, honestly, try it. Give it a go. I'm going to show you now how I did it. And I'm going to do it all for you so that you can actually see what I'm doing. But honestly... I know people might think it's weird. I know putting honey in your eyes might not seem that great. But to me, this has been an absolute lifesaver. Like when my eyes were playing up that bad, it was so chronic that I literally wanted to rip my eyeballs out of my head. And now, nothing. Do you know what I mean? Nothing. They're great. So yeah, I haven't got eye makeup on at the moment because obviously I wanted to show you what to do. But basically... In a minute. <laughs> Basically, what you do, I've got a little bowl of water and I've got a Q-tip. So, what you do, dip the Q-tip cotton bud in the water just to kind of get rid of any, like, fluffiness because you don't want any particles from the, the Q-bud going in your eye because along with the honey, that probably won't be that good, you know what I mean? And then I dip the Q-bud in the honey. Don't get too much on there. Just a little bit like this and then literally what i did was i opened up the eye and i just ran it along the bottom of the lash line like so and then i ran it along the top like so oh so you will get some stinging. It does sting. You can see my eyes getting really like watery now where it's stinging. The stinging for me doesn't last long. It lasts literally a minute or so. So then I'm going to repeat the process on the other eye using the other end of the bud because you don't want to use the same end because you don't want to transfer anything over. Woo! So again, pop that in there. Just want... Just want a little bit on there on the end. Oh, <laughs> my eyes wore it so bad. And then do the same thing. On there. There, and we are done. So I'm just gonna let that settle. Obviously, it's stinging a little bit. It doesn't sting bad. It's not like a, oh my God, I can't cope with the sting. It just kind of stings like a little bit. But yeah, just going to wait for them to stop. Stop weeping and calm down. And there we have it all done so i literally just leave that on there some people said on google that they washed it out after 10 minutes or whatever but i literally just leave it and yeah 
that morning when I finished work, when I wanted to rip my eyeballs out of my head, this is exactly what I did. And in those two, three minutes, I managed to basically cure my blepharitis. I mean, I can't say it's 100% cured. Obviously, it might come back. It might not. What I'm saying is... I suffered with really, really chronic blepharitis. And since I did this about four weeks ago, I haven't had a single flare up. I haven't had a single itch. I haven't had a single swelling. And I honestly feel like my eyes are what they used to be pre blepharitis. Honestly, guys, if you're really suffering like me and you've tried everything, give it a go. I mean, I've done it. I haven't gone blind. Um, yes, it stings a little bit, you know, I can still see I'm all fine. It's not affected my eyes. They're a little bit runny, but it's so worth it. Do you know what I mean? Like you might have this in your cupboard right now. You might be really, really suffering right now. That's, that might be why you've searched for like blepharitis videos. Um, if that is you, go try it, go give it a go. You're not going to get blind. You're not going to, you know, lose your eyesight. You're not going to lose your eyeballs. But it may really, really help you. And it may actually change your life. So, yeah, honestly, give it a go. I highly, highly recommend it, guys. So, anyway, that's it for me for today. If you do want to follow my journey, I will post maybe in a month or two. I'll post like an update, how my eyes are going. Um, if I've done the honey again. If, if I've had another blepharitis flare up if you do want to want to follow my journey feel free to um subscribe there's a red button down there it costs you absolutely nothing it's free if you did if you did find this video informative and use, useful <laughs> please do give it a thumbs up um comment below if you've got blepharitis what you've tried if you're going to try this if you've tried this and it worked for you yeah guys let's share the video get it out within the blepharitis community if there's anyone else you know that suffers share the video with them let's get everyone better because this chronic eye condition is an absolute bloody nightmare honestly i know i know the suffering i know how much it hurts just try it honestly give it a go it might work for you it might not all i can say is that it worked for me and honestly my eyes have never felt more clear or more better i'm so like i'm so amazed anyway yeah like comment and subscribe and i will see you soon bye